6. Survival of Adam and Eve Adam and Eve went to their mortal rest with strong faith in the promises made to them by the Melchizedeks that they would sometime awake from the sleep of death to resume life on the mansion worlds, worlds all so familiar to them in the days preceding their mission in the material flesh of the violet race on Urantia. They did not long rest in the oblivion of the unconscious sleep of the mortals of the realm. On the third day after Adam's death, the second following his reverent burial, the orders of Laniforge, sustained by the acting Most High of Edentia and concurred in by the Union of Days on Salvington, acting for Michael, were placed in Gabriel's hands, directing the special roll call of the distinguished survivors of the Adamic default on Urantia. And in accordance with this mandate of special resurrection, number 26 of the Urantia series, Adam and Eve were repersonalized and reassembled in the resurrection halls of the mansion worlds of Satania, together with 1,316 of their associates in the experience of the first garden. Many other loyal souls had already been translated at the time of Adam's arrival, which was attended by a dispensational adjudication of both the sleeping survivors and of the living qualified ascenders. Adam and Eve quickly passed through the worlds of progressive ascension until they attained citizenship on Jerusalem, once again to be residents of the planet of their origin, but this time as members of a different order of universe personalities. They left Jerusalem as permanent citizens, sons of God. They returned as ascendant citizens, sons of man. They were immediately attached to the Arantia service on the system capital later being assigned membership among the four and twenty councillors who constitute the present advisory control body of Urantia. And thus ends the story of the planetary Adam and Eve of Urantia, a story of trial, tragedy, and triumph, at least personal triumph for your well-meaning but deluded material son and daughter, and undoubtedly, in the end, a story of ultimate triumph for their world and its rebellion-tossed and evil-harassed inhabitants. When all is summed up, Adam and Eve made a mighty contribution to the speedy civilization and accelerated biologic progress of the human race. They left a great culture on earth, but it was not possible for such an advanced civilization to survive in the face of the early dilution and eventual submergence of the Adamic inheritance. It is the people who make a civilization. Civilization does not make the people. Presented by Salonia the seraphic voice in the garden.